hey you guys i'm back again with another video and y'all already know okay so in this video i'm gonna be teaching you guys how to slay your amazon prime wigs okay all right so this video is gonna be sponsored by unice hair or Eunice, however you say it um i wanted to show you guys how the unit came packaged i love that they gave you some instructions in the front this is the bu series i guess this wig was designed for you to be able to do it yourself so i wanted to really style it in a way where the average person could so this is how the wig comes really secure they also gave me some lashes <laughs> that was cute but i like mine's way dramatic y'all already know all right so let's unbox this wig and get to it Eunice is a pretty good company. I see a lot of people review them. So I was excited when they reached out to me to, to send me a wig for me to review, work with, you know, see if I like it. As you guys can see here, the wig actually came pre-bleached. Like, I don't know if y'all can really see that, but yeah, I was shocked at that. This wig has three combs inside, really standard wig construction, um, adjustable bands. Look at this hairline, you guys. It's cute parted. So this is just what I want to show you guys like about the bleach knots. So even if you was a beginner, a beginner, you don't have to really bleach these knots, honestly. But I'm gonna go back in and bleach them. The hair was beautiful. Um, this is their body wave texture. I just wanted to show you guys the luster, the natural luster and sheen of the hair and natural lighting. Love it. So let's get down to business. The first thing that I did was I um, wet the frontal just so all my hair, all the hairs can lay one direction without being too messy while I re-bleach this frontal. When you go to bleach the frontal, this is just how I do it. I pin it to my canvas head. Um, I use a little bit of bleach. I honestly put the bleach on the back of my hand and then apply it like in a thin layer. So that's just how I do it. That works for me all the time. Um, this way I can ensure that nothing's gonna be over processed. The bleach is not gonna bleed. If you apply a thin layer, it's not gonna really swell into the strands of the hair on the other side. If that really makes sense. I don't know if that makes sense or not, but if you guys wanna end up bleaching tutorial, let me know and I definitely got you. After that, I gave the hair a co-wash. As you guys can see, this is the um, body wave texture now. This is the knots now. Way better than the first time, even though it was not bad. Like I said, you really didn't even have to bleach this wig, but you know me. I got to be extra. As always, I'm very picky when it comes to my wigs. Laying hair, anything of the sort. So now we're going to pin everything back, and we're going to start tackling this hairline. The hairline could have been better. <laughs> it could have been better. But yeah, you know, girl, nobody's about to put on their wig looking like an edge up, sis. Like, uh-uh. You don't want to have to look like your man, like, leaving the barbershop. So what I'm going to do now is I'm not going to pluck crazy. I never recommend that. I pluck lightly. So what you want to do here is get rid of that line of demarcation because, sis, that is not cute for nobody. So what you guys see me doing right now is I'm not going to really go into the hairline too much, but I am going to go at the hairline. So what I'm doing is I'm just going on the edge, tackling it. Um, I'm not really trying to erase the shape 100% only because I feel like if the average person is doing this at home and you don't have a lot of experience plucking then how are you really gonna lay your own wig you know like that's it defeats the tutorial purpose of this wig so anyway what I'm doing is I'm just lightly going in as you guys can see tackling the hairline just so it's not straight of course and just getting rid of the edge up look and yeah you guys that's pretty much it I lightly pluck all my wigs I never heavy pluck them it's no point they're gonna shed anyway now i take my hot comb i spray a little bit of got to be just to get everything nice and set i take my hot comb and i'm pressing everything back once i do this i'm gonna tie everything up and then we'll be ready for styling for me this just gets the wig ready for application um if you're gonna glue this wig down you don't have to worry about any flyaways any baby hairs any nothing getting in your way you can just literally lay the wig and then worry about the baby hairs and everything after so that's the point of me pressing everything back i put the wig into a ponytail wrap my hair up you guys while i'm styling wigs in general i do wigs like i do my own hair period <laughs> like period because it's going on your head anyway so what you guys see me doing here is i'm just blow drying the wig getting all the moisture out of it 
ready for styling. Um, this hair was really, really soft. Um, working with it, I didn't get any tangling or shedding or anything. Nothing that was going to be alarming to this wig. This wig was also 150% density. So that just mimics a regular head of hair for the average person. Me, typically, I like a little bit more. I'm more so 180 and up. But again, this wig is 16 inches, 150 density. Again, it's supposed to be really like a natural look for every day. So now we're going to start laying our part, you guys. Um, just really defining it. Me, I start with my part first. I cannot style a head, a wig, nothing without knowing where I'm going. So me, I like to establish my part the first thing. As you guys can see, I'm just pressing it. I like my wigs extremely flat. Like... Oh, my pet peeve is a high wig or just a wig with too much volume at the top. If that's not what the style calls for. So again, being that this is a really natural style, I wanted to really just like lay the wig really flat, really natural, really seamless. Um, I'm going to do a small little hump, very small. But yeah, as you guys can see, I'm taking my <laughs> curling iron and I'm pressing that over top. That's just a tip for you guys. Um, use your hot comb, but then also go in with a big curling iron. Um, that's my one inch. And just really press it. It's going to get it even flatter. Oh, <laughs> so. All right. Now, right here, how I style my wigs is I always press my roots no matter what. If I'm doing a curl style, I always press my roots. This is just essential for your style overall to be polished and then your wig to be, lay as flat as possible. You can go in and start curling the hair. That's fine. But yeah, me, I just like to press everything, get the hair ready for styling. And yeah, that way it's just more seamless to me. I like a polished look. Honestly, that's just me. But go ahead, sis. You can do whatever you want to. This is just a tutorial. All right, so now that that step is all done, and as we can see, the wig is laying flat and seamless, we're going to get into the curling process. Um, I curl in no particular way. I curl everything away from the face, honestly. This look, I wanted to do my signature curls. I love doing this curl set. This is my favorite curl set to do. I feel like it's so pretty. It complements a lot of face shapes. It's effortless, and I think it can be something that everyone can do as long as you're watching this it's nothing hard as long as you can really like work a hot tool then i think you can do this look so But yeah, as you guys can see, I'm just showing you guys before and after. This hair is still really shiny. The, like, the luster was amazing. Um, I think that was like my favorite part of this hair, just watching the sheen of it. Because it wasn't too shiny, you know? And I hate when hair just looks dull. It just doesn't look healthy. It doesn't look polished. And yeah, no. So now that that's done, you guys, look at the sleigh on the hairline. I'm just going to go in to find that part a little bit more. So we're going to curl, comb out the curls. This is my favorite part. This is my signature curls. I, if I'm curling hair 10 times out of 10, this is my go-to curl pattern. I love this style. My clients love this style. They just cannot get enough. Um, they always ask me to recurl their hair because they can never do it themselves. So I, I decided to put her on my mannequin head because I want to install it on me, but I want to do that a separate video. As you guys can see, this wig came out so beautiful. I wanted you guys to see what it looks like on a face because my install 
more videos coming soon so stay tuned for that you guys and yeah hopefully this tutorial was easy to follow i hope you guys enjoyed it yes honey look at them curls girl hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial yeah girl if you're ordering from amazon again if it's a nice wig then it's definitely gonna be a go i want you guys to follow me at all my socials pretty official wigs and jalea london until the next video i will see you guys later peace